Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn how to estimate answers when you're doing operations on decimal numbers. All right. So what I have is I have a word problem here which says that Jim spent $3.85 on pens, $4.68 on notebooks, $8.15 on paints, and $2.06 on folders. How much money did he spend all together? Estimate your answer without using a calculator, then use a calculator to find the exact sum of money spent by Jim. All right, so let's see what we have. What we have is Jim spent a certain amount of money at a stationery shop. Okay, so what he did was he bought some things. What he bought was he bought pens worth $3.85. So he spent $3.85 on pens. Okay, let's uh, mark that say in this color so this is the pens that he bought for 3.85 dollars then he spent four dollars and 68 cents on notebooks so this is 4.68 dollars that he spent on notebooks so this is the notebooks all right so that's the notebooks let's label that then he spent eight dollars and 15 cents on paint so this is the biggest chunk of money that he spent on paints. So $8.15 on paints. Okay, let's color that, say in pink. All right, so that's paints. And he spent $2.06 on folders. So this is your 2.06 on folders. All right, now what we have to find out is how much money he spent all together. So how much is this total equal to? It's very straightforward. All you do is you add all these sums of money. 3.85 plus 4.68 plus 8.15 plus 2.06. So total money spent, total money spent is equal to 3.85 plus 4.68 plus 8.15 plus 2.06. Now who wants to do this calculation? I don't want to do this calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to estimate and see how much that's equal to because I'm only asked to estimate the answer without using a calculator. So if I don't have a calculator at my disposal, all I want to do is I just want to estimate. So let's estimate 3.85 plus 4.68 plus 8.15 plus 2.06. Okay, now when you're estimating decimal numbers, what you want to do is you want to convert them to the nearest whole number. So it becomes very easy to do the operation. So what you do is you simply round it off to the nearest whole number. Now when you want to round up to the nearest whole number, what you want to do is you want to check this guy here, this uh, first place after the decimal point, what this guy in the first place after the decimal point is, which means what this guy is. Now if this guy is greater than or equal to 5, then what you do is you increase this whole number part by 1. Okay, so in this case, 8 is greater than 5. All you do is you estimate the value of 3.85 to 4. Since 8 is more than 5, what you do is you add 1 to 3 to make it 4, right? In the same way, for 4.68, when you want to round it off to the nearest whole number, what you do is you check the guy in the first place after the decimal point, okay? In the first place after the decimal point, you have this guy 6, and 6 is greater than 5, so obviously you round it up. And when you round it up, this guy 4 becomes 5, all right? Now, 8.15. How do you round off 8.15? Well, you check the first digit after the decimal point and it's 1. So obviously it's less than 5, so you round it down. Okay, you round it down and what you get is you get 8. Okay, you don't do anything to this whole number, you keep it unchanged. Now, finally, for 2.06, what you have in the first place after the decimal point is you have 0. And 0 is obviously less than 5, so you keep the number, the whole number unchanged and you leave it as 2. Now it's very simple to add these whole numbers. Let's do that. What's 4 plus 5? Well, 4 plus 5 is 9. Then 9 plus 8 is 17 and 17 plus 2 is 19. So the total amount of money
that Jim spent at the stationery shop is about $19. Okay, so that's about $19. But we want to check how much exactly he spent. Okay, so let's find out how much the exact amount of money that Jim spent was. So what you do is you add 3.85 plus 4.68 to 8.15 and 2.06 okay so I'm gonna use a calculator for this here is my calculator and what I want to do is I want to add all these numbers 3.85 plus 4.68 plus 8.15 plus 2.06 let's see what's that equal to well, that's equal to 18.74 so this is equal to 18.74. So that's the exact amount of money that Jim spent. But what we had estimated was the amount of money that Jim spent was nearly equal to $19. That's the guess. That's the estimation. Okay. Now, if you compare 18.74 with $19, you see that $19 is a reasonable answer. Our estimation gave us a reasonable answer, which was $19, because $19 is pretty close to 18.74, which is the exact amount of money that Jim spent. So that's how you do estimation when you want to find out a reasonable answer or a pretty close answer to the exact value. What you do is you round off the decimals to the nearest whole numbers and then you carry out the operation. All right, so that's how you do uh, estimation in uh, calculations, but that's one problem. Let's solve another problem. Let's say I have a problem like this, which says a rectangular plot measures 12.23 meters by 9.88 meters. Estimate the area of the plot. Then using a calculator, find the exact area, explain the two answers. So what we've got is we've got a rectangular plot. Okay, so we have a rectangular plot, something like this. Okay. And what we're given is one side of it measures 12.23 meters. Okay, so let's say that the longer side is 12.23 meters and the other side of it measures 9.88 meters. So this side, the shorter one is 9.88 meters. And what we have to find out is the area of the plot. So this guy over here, this blue part, which is the area, okay, that denotes the area. So we have to find out what the area of the plot is equal to. All right, it's pretty simple, very, very straightforward calculation. Area we know is equal to area of rectangular plot or a rectangle is equal to the product of the two sides. So the product means 12.23 meters times 9.88 meters. Okay, so that's the area. But who wants to do the calculation? I certainly don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just estimate the value of 12.23 times 9.88. Okay. So the area we know is equal to 12.23 meters by 9.88 meters. Now when you're estimating, I said just now in the previous problem that all you do is you change this decimal number to its nearest whole number, okay? So you round it off, okay? You round it off to the nearest whole number. And for that, we know that what we have to do is see what this digit, okay, the, the first digit next to the decimal point is equal to. If it's less than 5, then you keep the whole number part unchanged. In the first case, it's less than 5, so we keep 12 unchanged. So 12.23 is nearly equal to 12 meters. How about 9.88? Well, let's check what the digit in the first place after the decimal point is. It's 8, which is greater than 5. So we add 1 to the number 9. And adding 1 to the number 9 gives us 10. So we have 12 meters by 10 meters. That's the area. Now, this is very straightforward. 12 times 10 is 120. 120 meters square. That's the area. So our estimation gives us the area as 120 meters square. Now, how about the exact value? Let's use a calculator and find out the exact value of 12.23 meters by 9.88 meters. Okay, let's see what's exactly it's equal to. So 12.23 times 9.88, that's equal to 120.8324. Okay, so 120.8324 meter square. Now 120.8324 meter square is the exact value and 120 meter square is the estimated value. Now let's compare these two. Well, if you compare these two, you see that 
120 is the whole number part for both of these. So these are pretty close to each other. Both these answers are pretty close to each other. So the whole number parts in both the cases in the estimated value as well as the exact value is the same. Even if you were to round off this exact value to the nearest whole number, you would get what 121 meters square and that's also pretty close to 120 meters square the estimated value so 120 meters square the estimated value is a pretty reasonable answer without having to use a calculator all right so that's how you estimate answers when you're doing operations on decimal numbers it's a very very easy subject and i hope you've understood what i've taught you and i hope that now you'll go back and do some practice because practice makes you perfect so for practice exercises and to see how good you're getting at math, go to www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.